Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do a eye tutorial. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be gold. Um, I'm going to be using the Naked 2 palette with a color tattoo as a base. Um, I hope you guys like it and let's just jump straight into it. Oh, before I do, this um, I've just I've already applied all my face makeup and my base. If you guys want a tutorial on this look, just let me know. I did use my Illamasqua skin foundations for the flawless base so if you guys want a flawless face tutorial leave me a comment down below but let's get into it all right so we're going to start with nice clear eyes you can prime them if you want to but i'm going to be using a base and this base is going to act as my primer so this is bold gold by maybelline and this is this beautiful really gold color i use this all the time for special events I absolutely love it. These color tattoos are my favorite thing in the world. Um, and I just love to use them all the time. So I'll just apply this all over the eyelid. And don't be afraid to use your fingers with these kind of products, guys. It warms them up and it makes them really easy to blend. Um, and just build the color up until you get to a color that you're happy with. Like, I want a pretty opaque gold color to build on top of. And just keep getting in there with your finger and working it into the eyelid. We will go in with a brown colour, a powder colour, to define the crease a little bit. Because you are going to be packing a lot of gold onto this eyelid. Like that. So it's a pretty opaque gold colour at the moment. And to be honest, you could just get away with this. You could just wear this and it would be just fine. But I'm going to make it a little bit stronger. But first of all, I'm going to take a tease. And I'm going to put it in the crease with just a blending brush. Like I've said before, guys, don't push too hard with your blending brush. Otherwise, you will get really, really harsh lines. You just want a really soft line just to help define your crease a little bit. So you only want to really just tap the skin, you don't really want to push. Now I find with these kind of eyeshadow looks it's always best to work from lightest to darkest when we're actually going to pack shadow on the lid. And all that's going to do, and then at the end, put a little bit more light on top. Because all that's going to do is make sure that you're not trying to put a light colour over a dark colour, because that's just very difficult to blend out. Okay. Next, we are going to take uh, a shadow brush. I'm just going to use just a small one for now, um, but it will pick up. Just a little shadow brush, and I'm going to pick up Half Baked, which is this colour down here. It's the second colour in the palette. And I pick up Half Baked, and we're just going to pat it all over just the lid. It is this beautiful, rich gold colour, which really matches well with this colour tattoo. Again, you can use your fingers with this, guys, because it will build up colour better on your fingers. I just don't really like getting product on my fingers. That being said, I did just apply a colour tattoo with my fingers. But powder product. I don't really like to use powder product on my fingers. Next, we're going to go in with Suspect, which is this colour in the middle here. And we're going to take that with the same brush and we're going to put it on the outer half. Are you guys having a good week? Are you guys all back at school yet? I know that a lot of you guys in the States will go back to school soon. 
Um, us in Australia haven't had a break yet uh, for a while. We all have our breaks in June and then September for two weeks at a time. And then we get our big break over Christmas for summer. But you all, did you all have good summer holidays? Alright, next we're going to take Snake Bite, which is this darker colour just next to, just next to what one we used to use, just next to Suspect. On the same brush, and we're just going to put it in the very outer third. This is a quite dark brown, so you just, you don't want to put it too close to the inner eye, unless you want the look to be particularly smoky. Again, this is not all blended, guys, but we are going to go back in and blend. So please don't fret if you've got some harsher lines. But this is just going to give you that very smoky effect. You don't want to go too far out. You just want to stay until the end of the eyelid and just pat this colour in. But if you do, don't worry, we can clean it up. Not a problem. Like so. Now we're just going to take a plain blending brush and we're just going to blend. Now the best way to blend is probably in to out because that's your lighter colours. All the way out to your darker ones. And you just kind of want to go, always go light to dark because your dark colours will overpower your light colours otherwise. Like so. If you need to, pop a little bit of a lighter colour on your blending brush and just blend over to make sure that it stays prominent. Whatever you guys need to do to make sure that you... And if you need to go over a colour, don't fret. Just go over that colour again. Because you want a really nice gradual kind of ombre effect I suppose with this you want the inner eye to be a lighter gold and you want to go out to a darker gold I like to take a little bit of half baked on my eyeshadow brush and just kind of blend it over like so now with just a teeny tiny little pencil brush mix some of half baked and suspect together so the two lighter colours that we used Look up and run it down under the lower lash line. Now we haven't highlighted the inner corner yet, but we will do that. We're just going to tidy up a little bit. Take a clean shadow brush and pick up Foxy. Foxy is the matte white colour in the palette, and we're going to use this to clean it up. So what we're going to do is you're going to pick up Foxy, get to the outer corner, and you're just going to go up a little bit, right at the outer corner, and that's just going to tidy up that outer edge so it doesn't look too messy. From that, you're going to follow on and go up under the brow bone. Like so. That gives you a more defined looking shadow look. Because it doesn't look like a harsh line because it's not concealed out. You can use concealer if you guys wanted to. But it's more of a... Blended line that way. Last but not least, take a clean little brush and pick up Booty Call, which is this colour right here. I'm going to pick that colour up and we're going to place that right in the inner corner. Now, depending if you want to use this look for day or night, you could put on liquid liner. If you want liquid or gel liner, uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to use a really subtle 
dark brown pencil liner and just gently line the lid. But this would look really nice at night time with a really bold liquid liner like look. Now just add your favourite mascara or curl your lashes depending on what you prefer. I don't really curl my lashes but add your favourite mascara and that is it for the eyes guys. You can even add some false lashes if you like. I'm not going to because this is for a daytime look for me. I'm going to an afternoon tea with my parent-in-laws for my father-in-law's birthday. So I'm not going to wear false eyelashes because it is a really simple afternoon tea look for me. So I'm not going to add too much darkness. I just want it to be pretty but simple. Alright guys, I'll finish the rest of my face and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I've just finished the rest of my face makeup. This is the finished look for today. Uh, it is winter here, so it is a wintry type look. You could always swap the lip out for a brighter colour, of course, if you guys are in a warmer climate. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please let me know if you like this type of video and I can do it more often. If you guys want a face routine or if you guys want a more different weather appropriate routine or makeup please let me know in the comments i hope you guys are having a fantastic day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in two days bye